couple of frames. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my move tool. Notice how I can see all the frames now because I've put on edit multiple frames and I drag the um, end onion skin and the beginning onion skin all the way to the ends and now I'm just going to click and drag a, a selection box. Whoops! Undo. I'll start out here and drag a selection box and that will select all of them. Okay, notice how they're all selected, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to go to drop shadow, right? And what I'm going to do is Let's see here if I can get this up. I'm going to click on Hide Object. And now I've got just a black, just the drop shadow showing, not the actual, since I put it on drop shadow, not the actual character, right? And, um, and I've got a blur value set for it and all this stuff, right? And then the next thing I can do is I can actually tweak all of these um, shadows together and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll get my transform tool right and you'll see that I could actually take all of these shadows move this down here I could move all of these shadows and do that to them I can um, also uh, let's see here compress them And I can flip them, modify, transform, flip horizontal, okay. No, I didn't want to do that. Control Z. I wanted to flip vertical. Modify, transform, flip vertical, right? And then I'm going to compress them some more. And then I'm going to wait till the cursor gets like that, and I'm going to tweak them some more, right? And now what I can do is... I can drag the whole layer underneath the other layer, turn my eyeballs back on, right? And I can actually move all of these shadows so that they're approximating the correct position. And now, even though I didn't have a shadow, I've now created a shadow for my character. So turn multiple, edit multiple frames back off, and you'll see that now you have a shadow, right, for, for your character. Now what you need to do is I would say what I what I would do is go into each one and line up the feet and the uh shadow better, right? I could even tweak it. I could select this, open up my property window. Come on property window. And go to alpha and change the alpha to 60, let's say, or 50. Right? So now let's see how that looks there. Now I have a see-through shadow, right? I can select the shadow, which is just a copy of me uh, that I've been um, playing with. And I can go to filters, and I, if I wanted to, I could blur it. So I could add also blur to it, right, slightly, if I wanted to. So that makes it a little more shadow-like. Shh, I'm recording a movie. Hold on one second. And now I've got a drop shadow, and I can just go now to each piece and play with the drop shadow. But look how cool that is. That is a really cool technique. How did I do it? I copied my animation of my son who's right here with me and then I used the transform tool to tweak it and I put on each frame I put a um, filter of a drop shadow but I clicked on hide object so now it just becomes a black shape. All right. When you're all said and done see here. I'm going to close this out and not save it. Yeah, don't save it. Open it up again. File. Open recent. Let's see here. Import to. Okay, there it is. When you're all said and done, what you want to do is unlock this. Now I've got, you can see here, I've got my, and then here's my son. And you can see I made, I liked my um, shadow that I created from the character better than my original shadow. This is my original shadow right here, which I didn't like as much, right? Um, that was actually the real shadows, but it doesn't look as good. So this one actually looks so much better. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to hi highlight there, hold down my shift key, click on the last frame, right? Right click, copy frames, and now I'm going to do insert new symbol, okay? movie clip alright and then I'm going to 
select the first frame, then right click on it, and paste frames. And now I have my um, animation inside of a movie clip. So now what I can do is, is in my library, I can rename this symbol, let's say, jumping movie, and now I can add this movie clip to my other website. So I go back to my website right here. There's my website. I could make a new layer for it if I wanted. Let's see here. I could put it on the content page. Right, I'll just put it on, I'll make a new layer for it above the paper layer, above the logo layer, or above the buttons layer. There we go. New layer, above the buttons layer. And this comes in, right? And so right here, I could hit F6, right? Open my library. I can pick which library I want to look at if I have multiple files open. So I'll go here to Import 2, right? There's my library from my other movie. Just drag on it and drag my character into um, my website. So now I have the character actually on the website, right, as a movie clip. And if I hit Control Enter, you'll see my website. This pops up, the page opens, this comes out, and there he is jumping on my web page with the shadow showing the paper texture through because it's been alpha and the shadow is nothing more than copying the character, hiding the content, and then putting some effects on the drop shadow. I got all this whole idea from looking at Rich Shoup in his video when he talked about um, how to do this and it was really really good uh, on filters. Notice how he makes the running character at the end he shows you he's got a running cycle and how he um, makes a shadow for his running character by doing the same technique. So I really recommend you watch that video. Your assignment is to put some form of filter um, on your uh, web page. So your web page needs filters. You'll get you'll get credit for that. Notice here now I can go to my different pages. All right, and of course my character keeps showing up on all my pages because I've put his keyframes across all of the pages. So if I don't want that to happen, I just put a blank keyframe here, insert blank keyframe, and now he'll show up only on the home page, let's say. And I could even move him into position. He doesn't really go with the whole theme of um doesn't really go with the whole theme of uh being in Yellowstone but in the winter, but who cares? There he is. Okay. So now if I go to about page, he's not there. Gallery, he's not there. Contact, he's not there. Video, he's not there. But back to home, and there he is. Okay.